In this video, I'll show you how to get the best print results using your Epson EcoTank printer. So what are the settings you need to change and what to do? I'll show you next. So let's say I want to print this picture. You're going to open the print dialog on a Mac is pressing command P or on a PC. I think it's control P or something like that. If not, you can go over here under files, select print and over here, first you need under printer to select your Epson printer, obviously. And then it's over here. We need to concentrate. So over preview, you need to make sure that, well, First of all, the picture fits on the, the paper. So let's say something like that, 70%. And then under media and quality, make sure you have selected under media type the right size of paper. This makes a huge difference. If you do not select the, paper, uh, the right paper type, the one that you have inserted on in your printer, then there's a good chance that the quality won't be great. And sometimes the ink can even smear. If you're trying to print on glossy paper, but you have selected plain paper here, the color will not stick to your paper and it will be a disaster. So in my case, I want to print on photo glossy paper. This is the one I will select. And under quality, obviously leave it to the best. If it's not at best, just drag this you see best then under layout you do not have to touch this and the other settings as well do not touch them before pressing print and this is good for if you're printing from your computer or from a smartphone go on your printer here and on the screen itself you're going to go in the menu i mean in settings then press the right side arrow select printer setup then select paper source setting, press OK. Select paper settings, press OK. Go on the right side, select paper type and make sure that the paper type you have selected on your computer matches the one that is selected on your printer. This is very important because this can cause a problem. And again, the quality of your picture can suffer if both are not the same. And by the way, if you're printing on glossy, there's many glossy and you're probably wondering which one should I choose? Just choose glossy. I have tested them all and honestly, glossy just do a great job. So I'll press this. You can also make sure that paper size is the right one. So if it's not four by six, select the right one. And then you need to go back on your computer and press the print button. So let's do it together. I'll press print and while it's printing, I'll just show you on the smartphone. It's exactly the same thing I just showed you on the computer. You press print photo, then you need to press under here where it says four by six on the top right corner, press on that. It's like a button. I know it doesn't look like a button, but it's one and you see this menu will appear. And from here, it's the same exact settings as on the computer. Make sure the printer is the right one. The paper size is the right one. The media type is the right one if you want borders or not. And over here, there's print quality. Tap on it and choose high. This will give you obviously the highest print quality, but it will take more time to print because that's the trade off. If you select standard, it will be able to print three times as fast, maybe four times as fast. But the, the quality won't be there compared to if you select high, it will take a lot more time but the details and everything will be top-notch. 